Blessed be the name of the Lord. I usually don't deliver political messages. It's not the task that God has given me. But sometimes things get so ridiculous that I just feel compelled to say something. This is the time that we are going through such a terrible, terrible oppression, which is not fully, it's not fully developed yet, but the United States as a free country is dead. As it has died on January 6 and the latest midterm elections on November 2022 has been the final nail in the coffin of freedom, democracy of this United States Republic. Now, we don't live in the United States, but the freedom of the U.S. is vital to everybody in the world, and especially to us here in Canada, because we're so close and everything is affected by the United States. I never thought I would see the end of democracy in Western Europe and other Western countries like the United States, Canada, Australia, and so forth. Uh, people keep talking about 1776 and winning the freedoms back and um, I'm sorry Americans but you think you are so brave but you're not it was never up to you to defeat England it was God's blessings it was God's blessings it was God's provisions and providence I I've often heard this idea that the United States is a democracy well I know it's a republic but you know it's a free country because the founding fathers were so wise in writing the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and setting up this government, the United States government, in three branches, legisl uh, legislative, uh, judicial, executive, I think so those are the three branches, I'm not sure. But there are three branches of the U.S. government. And there's a system of, of checks and balances. And these three separate branches can, can control one another, making sure there's no abuses of power. And that's how wise the founding fathers were. It's all human wisdom, human strength. Well, it turns out that the system is not so perfect. The system is failing right now. And the, 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 the founding fathers never set up the perfect system, which is foolproof, because it's falling apart. It was never the founding fathers. It was never the perfect system. It was never about the three branches of the, of the government. It was always about the provisions of God. It, it was God's plan to bless the United States because it was founded by Christians, by the Puritans, by the Puritans, by the Puritans from England. And uh, that's why God blessed it. And people flocked, and they're still flocking to it, although it's dying like a goose on a field. But uh, now, when God's blessings are being slowly withdrawn, we can see that no human strength can regain those freedoms, liberties, and prosperities of the United States. It's over because the time is up. Now we have to get ready for the second coming of Jesus. So my, my message to you is do not miss the second coming like people miss the first coming of Jesus, okay? And don't think that 1776 is going to happen. Look, look what, what happened with uh, January 6. Nobody's going to win the United States if God is not with people to do that. And there's only a few years left. Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. Seek refuge. And it's a joyous, joyous time. It's I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a gloomy, a gloomy message. This is a joyous time. We're waiting for Jesus to come back. Finally, it's a time of redemption and the strife on earth is going to be over. But the point is, it was never the founding fathers. It was never human strength. It's always God's plan. He's sovereign. And may he richly, richly bless you from Zion. Take care. Bye-bye.